Hey guys, welcome to Life in Calgary, Alberta. I'm your host, Patrick Murray, and today I'm excited to take you on a neighborhood tour of a terrific inner city Calgary neighborhood known as Renfrew. Now, before we get into that, if you are new to this channel and you want to know what it's like to eat, sleep, breathe, live and play in Calgary, Alberta, then just click that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you get notified every single time I release a new video. Okay guys, I gotta tell you, uh, I've been living here in the city of Calgary since 2001, and I've been a realtor in the city since 20, 2010. So if you are considering making a move to our great city, and you want assistance with purchasing a home, please feel re free to reach out to me. My information is below. Send me a text, an email, a phone call, whatever, I will absolutely get back to you. All right guys, let's get going on this neighborhood tour right after this. So before we delve into things and look at Renfrew as a whole, let's just talk about where Renfrew is located uh, in the grand context of the city of Calgary. So here's a map of the city of Calgary. And I mentioned that uh, Renfrew is an inner city community. So I'm just going to start to zoom in and you are going to see, hang on here, guys, as we zoom in a little more, you can already see Calgary's downtown core is right here. And here's Renfrew right here. This is the community of Renfrew, community of Bridgeland below, and boom, there's the downtown right there. So let's zoom in a little more. We'll just talk about the boundaries for the community. So uh, to the north is 16th Avenue, which is also the Trans-Canada Highway, a great um, you know east-west connector. We've got Deerfoot Trail to the east, which is a great north-south connector. Um, on the west, the western boundary is Edmonton Trail, which is a, a little bit of a busier thoroughfare, um, an inner city roadway, not a freeway, guys. This is an inner city roadway, but busier. But lots of great amenities along here as well, which I'll share with you shortly. And uh, to the south is the escarpment at 7th Avenue. So there's 7th Avenue, and then boom, there's this big escarpment or drop off, which goes down into the community of Renfrew. And there's some terrific and beautiful views of the skyline and the city of Calgary. And, and so you know, just being so central for me, because I live in Renfrew, um, I'm able to get just about everywhere I need to go in the city within probably 35 minutes or so. Uh, so I like it for that reason. And it's a good base for me to get to some of those bedroom communities too. You know, Chestmere over here, um, down south is uh, Okotoks, up north is Airdrie. And um, and then there's Cochrane, which is just out the 1A here as well. So um, that's the map. That's where Renfrew is located. Let's keep going here. All right, guys. So I think Renfrew is an absolute gem of an inner city community. Now, I think it's a community that is also overlooked by many buyers looking to purchase in the inner city. And I'm not sure why that is exactly, but when they discover it, I think they discover all uh, the great things about it. Okay. I get it. I might be a little biased. See, this is my community. I live here. In fact, I'm walking on my street right now. So uh, my family and I moved to Renfrew in 2004 when we bought our house. And we still reside here today. And in fact, you know, we've raised our kids here. We're raising our kids here. My son's 12, my daughter's uh, eight years old. And we absolutely love it. So, well, what can I tell you about Renfrew? Well, one of the reasons we chose it is because we wanted to live in the inner city. We wanted to buy for location, 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 location. Now, our house isn't necessarily the largest on the street, certainly not the most expensive, but it is in that great location. And that's what I love about it. Now, something else I love is all of the trees in this mature neighborhood. They're beautiful and they're everywhere. And on our street, we get this nice canopy that goes over the street as well, which uh, really adds to the allure. And for me also, uh, there's so much going on here with the housing. I mean, there's such a variety. There's older homes like my home, which is a 1912 heritage house. And then there's newer properties that have been built just in the last few years. So when we moved into our street, our home was one of the larger houses on the street, albeit older, but there have been a few homes torn down over time. And uh, now we've got these uh, larger, newer homes in the vicinity. So um, that's what I like about it. Lots of variety in terms of what you get for real estate here. Uh, lots of semi-detached homes. There are some 
uh, lots, oh, sorry, lots of detached homes, of course. Um, there are a few townhomes or row homes and there are some uh, condominium apartments in the area as well. Now, I was talking about location. For me, when we moved here, I was a dental hygienist. I worked in a community called Mission. So I could walk, run, or bike to work, and it was great in that way. But as a realtor now, uh, I also find it's very central for getting me to anywhere I need to go within the city in probably you know a half hour to 40 minutes, anywhere I need to go. And that includes some of the bedroom communities as well. So location wise, it's absolutely great. Our kids love it. Um, I don't know guys, I've got so much to tell you. I can't wait to take you on a tour, so we'll keep going and take a look around. So we've seen the boundaries for the community. Let's just briefly talk about housing. So I'm gonna talk about uh, the pricing in the community as of right now, the making of this video, and then we'll take a look at some of the houses in the community at the same time. So first off, uh, in the detached part, there, there are some lots of detached homes in the community, of course. Um, it's a well-established neighborhood. So there's lots of older homes here, but there are also lots of newer homes as well as some of the older homes are torn down and, and they make way for some of the new product coming on. Now, uh, what I love, and I, I've mentioned this before, is what I love about Renfrew is all the different types of housing available. And that includes even within each sector. So even in the detached sector, the houses don't all look alike because it's the inner city. So we've got some, you know, some older homes like my house is a 1912 uh, heritage house. And, you know, that's great. Um, I love it. We love it. We love where we live and, and we're not moving. Um, but then there's stuff that's brand new, like on my street, brand new stuff that's worth a lot, much, much more than my home. And then there's, you know, a lot of wartime housing. Um, you know, stuff that was built in the 40s after the war um, in the area as well. And so the detached housing uh, is, is really great. Now, currently it's a buyer's market and the benchmark price as of the end of April 2023 is $610,200, which is down slightly from March, but up from last year. Now, if we look at the semi-detached sector, again, lots of beautiful semi-detached product semi-detached for those of you that don't know don't know are kind of like a duplex if you will um however uh, you know Renfrew has a variety of that sort of stuff there's some older ones but there's some newer ones and you're going to notice this price here a real difference benchmark price 861 100 versus 610 for a detached home and uh, part of the reason why it's that way is one um the amount of homes for sale um they're just there's there's a lot more newer uh, semi-detached for sale in comparison to the detached homes for sale. Um, but also there's some beautiful, beautiful product in the semi-detached market. And they're just as large if, you know, many of them are larger than my detached home. So the benchmark price, again, 861 100 in April, month over month, that's down a little bit slightly from March, but up over 12% from last year. Row housing are like townhouses, if you will. And uh, there's, you know, some new stuff going up in row housing in Renfrew, but there's also some older stuff in Renfrew um, that's row housing as well, but very beautiful as well. Um, so the benchmark price is $428,800 for a townhome in Renfrew. That's up 3.15% from last month and almost up 20% from last year. And if we look at condo apartments, it's just on the cusp of being a balanced or a seller's market at that 50%. So it probably depends on the product type. Benchmark price is $328,600 month over month. That's up 1.45% from last month. Now, guys, hold on to your socks. Year over year, it's up almost 36% from April of last year. All right, guys. So Renfrew has lots of great amenities and we're going to start by talking about the Renfrew Community Association. All right guys so this building here that's the uh, Renfrew Community Association and uh, they have lots of great things going on in the community all the time. Uh, I am a member and uh, you know uh, they have a great stampede breakfast down here at stampede time. Now you're going to notice this uh, great baseball field here. And uh, that's the nice thing, there, there are a few things going on here. We've got this uh, baseball field here. And then on the other side of the 
uh, community association is a tiny tots place for uh, preschool and then just beyond that is another little field that's turned into an ice hockey rink in the summertime uh, which is very popular with the kids of course all right guys this is just another view of uh, the community association the grounds you can see we've got a great playground here for kids this is a very popular spot that field the uh, community center itself that's the tiny tots daycare there and then this is the area that gets turned into a, an outdoor skating rink with outdoor lights and let me tell you my 12 year old son spends a lot of time here after school burning off energy so if you're wondering about opportunities to stay fit especially during those winter months there is the Renfrew pool and fitness center so my kids take swimming lessons here it's a great outlet there's also uh, classes to work out uh, do various um, you know whether it's spin classes or aerobics or that sort of thing yoga etc um, there is also a very good gym here as well so a great spot to work out now something else in the area here too is i don't know if you can see that building in the background it says it's the Stu henry arena and there's also the henry viney arena just uh, in the back of that so uh, there are some spots here for hockey for ice times for skating and that sort of thing as well and something else in the area here is the Renfrew Athletic Park. This is a huge soccer field here. Of course, there's uh, you know, men's leagues and women's leagues and kids' leagues. And, and uh, especially in the evenings, it's quite busy um, in spring, summer, and fall. Beyond that, there are some baseball fields as well. And you'll get an idea of the scope here of the complex with uh, this map here as well. So something else of value in the community here is the Trellis Society. They offer um, preschool, uh, youth services, after school care programs uh, for kids whose mom and dad can't pick them up after school. And you can also see behind here the uh, Rutledge hangar and that's one of the original hangars uh, from during, uh, during the war because believe it or not uh, this part of Renfrew was uh, the RCAF training area so there was an airport in Renfrew uh, back in the wartime and if you like tennis not to worry Renfrew's got you covered with the Renfrew tennis course these are three outdoor hard courts that have been recently resurfaced something else I really love about Renfrew is there are lots of little parks and green spaces and behind me here uh, if you can see this is a, a great little neighborhood park there's a playground there, a great spot for the dogs to run around. And you know, there's some great houses right across the street. So, I mean, really accessible for the community. Um, it's a great place to raise a family. I think you, uh, if you choose Renfrew as your home, you'll be really happy. And here's another spectacular street in Renfrew. And, and you know, again, here we are in the inner city yet we've got this huge crescent here with this large green space right in the middle great spot for the kids to go play that sort of thing and again just another great green space for uh, the neighborhood all right guys so i know school is important for any community but the good news is renfrew has a number of schools to offer uh, residents so this is behind me is colonel mcleod school it serves kindergarten through to grade eight and uh, this school here is run by the Calgary Board of Education. This is Stanley Jones Elementary School run by the Calgary Board of Education. Now this is for grades kindergarten to grade six but there's also an all-girls academy here for grades four to nine. I don't know if you can see in the background there but the downtown is like right there and it is a little smoky hazy today because of forest fires and wildfires up in the uh, north northern Alberta and Saskatchewan with that air blowing down right now um, but uh, that is the downtown core just over there and yet another school run by the Calgary Board of Education is the Children's Village School this is for elementary aged children with uh, special needs some of them with disabilities and yes there is wheelchair access on the other end of school don't be deceived by the frontier it's much larger than it looks and there's a great playground as well and this is St. Alphonse's school this is uh, a school run by the Catholic Board of Education uh, this is for grades kindergarten to grade 9 so that means it serves elementary school age children and 
kids in junior high and it is a specialized fine arts school in the community. All right guys, so this is Edmonton Trail. This is the western boundary for the community run through. Now, something about Edmonton Trail is there's lots of services here uh, from doctor's offices to other professional services, barber shops, uh, tattoo studios, um, you know, there's uh, optometry, there's orthodontics, you name it. Lots of great stuff going on and of course lots of great restaurants as well. Guys, there are a ton of great places to eat along Edmonton Trail. Of course, it is a busier street. It is a major thoroughfare. But I am going to point out just a few of my favorite restaurants. There are lots of great ones. Please come and try them all. But I'm going to start with this one right here behind me. This is Agni. This is Indian food. And guys, I got to tell you, the food here is amazing. And I find the price to be quite reasonable as well. So if you're in the area, you like Indian food, this is the place to go. All right, guys, this is Boogie's Burgers. This is a staple neighborhood, two locations in Calgary. You gotta try the Fat Elves Shake. If you don't know what it is, look it up. It'll blow your mind. Guys, this is probably my favorite pizza restaurant in the entire neighborhood. Just down the street from my house, look there on Edmonton Trail, Pizza Culture. I gotta tell you, it is fantastic. Big Fish and Open Range, guys. Great seafood restaurant and a terrific steak place. Guys, this little hole in the wall here is SS 106 Aperitivo Bar. Great little Italian fare. Great place to come for drinks. And let me tell you, if there's a soccer game going on, this place goes nuts. All right, the Courtyard Pub. This is a great place to come for drinks, come for some food, karaoke, whatever, guys. Watch some sports. This is a great spot along the Edmonton Trail. All right, guys, this is Diner Deluxe. This is a neighborhood staple. This has been in the community since before I lived here, so for over 20 years. And I gotta tell you, on the weekends, it is lined up for brunch. So this is a great place to come check out. And this is a great little hole in the wall area right in the middle of uh, a residential neighborhood here in Renfrew. So this is a professional building for um, uh, a surgeon's office here. There's the Stoop, which is a great cafe, and then over here is Nano Square Pies for pizza, wings, etc. So like I said earlier in this video, if you are considering a move to Calgary, feel free to reach out to me with a text, an email, a phone call, or whatever. I will absolutely get back to you. I service Calgary, Chestermere, Okotoks, Cochrane, and Airdrie. Those are the surrounding bedroom communities. I can help you too to start living your life in Calgary, Alberta.